Our collaborative work is often informed by different concepts of public space and also by the question of what the public within this term of public space actually could mean. For our new work entitled Park Avenue Plaza, Performing Publicness, we looked at the history of public space in New York City. Because when we talk about public space, we still continue to think of space as it would be clearly marked as either private, as corporate, or as public, which is really not the case anymore. Because already in the 60s, the so-called pubs, privately owned public spaces, exist in New York City. It's a city famous for that. And they were invented to give real estate developers a good deal in regards to zoning regulations. For example, if you want to build a, a high rise, uh, but it's not uh, part of the zoning regulation, then you can make a deal and uh, you provide uh, the city or the public with a space either in front of the building or inside the building. Or if you need a bit of bigger footprint, uh, then you can get around these uh, regulations. And during our research in the spring, we came across one of these pops in the very close vicinity neighborhood uh, of the Austrian Cultural Forum in Midtown. It's called the Park Avenue Plaza. And it's also the building with the headquarter of the asset management group BlackRock, where they are housed. And you might know, but BlackRock uh, is one of the global investment corporations which received quite some attention, let's say, um, as they are playing a really big role in the global financialization of housing stocks. So the inherent contradictions of this space, run by a privately owned firm, which is responsible for the global commodification of housing, becomes a public site, or is a public space, but then it becomes the public site for our project. Right. At the Cultural Forum, we installed two jacquard woven curtains based on black and white photographs of this plaza we made during that visit. This particular jacquard weaving process generates on one side a positive, on the other side a negative image of the space. Photographically speaking, the woven object collapses both views into one object. The curtains do not create a really fixed space, they make more a fluid or open one. And between the two curtains, you will find a sheet of instructions mounted onto the gallery wall. With those instructions, we invite the audience to visit Park Avenue Plaza. So therefore, we think or imagine that you, the audience, will be producing a public space. Our reference here is Henri Lefebvre's concept that space is not given, but produced by social interaction of people. And also that every society produces its own space. But performing public publicness also addresses different notions of public space. For example, the sphere of public action, as Hannah Arendt claims, or public space as a place for democratic imaginaries and for demanding social justice, as we have experienced uh, through Black Lives Matter. So if we consider the current situation in the USA, this means that spatial configurations are being challenged. And we hope that our work can contribute in some way to this rethinking of public space as a sphere where liberal democracy is being challenged. Park Avenue Plaza would be a perfect uh, space to do that.